Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna go over another flashlight. Yes, it is an O-Light, but we're gonna do it quick. Quick and simple, let's do it. All right, so quick and simple. This is the O-Light M2R Pro Warrior. Make sure I say that correctly. I keep wanting to say something else, but anyway, the M2R Pro Warrior. Um, this light was sent to me, obviously, to, to check out and look at this stuff, and this is an overview, not a review. The main difference there being, I've had this for one day, and tomorrow the video needs to go out. So an overview of general specs and things, and then I will do a review after I've had enough time with this to actually get some personal thoughts on the thing, okay? But the, the Warrior, I think the Warrior has been out for a while. I don't know exactly what they've changed about this version of it. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but just looking at it general overall, it has the general feel of an EDC light. Just an everyday Honda Civic, you know, Honda Accord style of a thing, right? Um, there's a couple different features about it that I wasn't able to exactly test out on the back here. It does appear that you're supposed to be able to use... Don't quote me, um, I could be wrong on this, but I do believe you're supposed to be able to use the Odin uh, tape switches, maybe, um, and hook this up to a uh, to a weapon light, right? I know you can, I did test this out yesterday, you can remove the, the button in the back, right? The, I'm forgetting the word, not tail switch, but whatever, you can remove this button in the back and put on the Odin switch, right? And that did seem to work. Um, for what it's worth. I don't know if that's something you want to do. I would think you just want to go, excuse me, I, I think you just want to go ahead and get an Odin, but you got you got that option, I guess. Um, these, the clip on the side here is one of those reversible S looking clips, so you can stick it in your pocket this way, or you can flip it around and stick it in your pocket this way. If you like bezel up, bezel down, that's kind of nice. All right, so real quick getting into some features of this. It's very Odin centric, right? So if you are familiar with the Odin you're probably gonna be familiar with this guy, um, except that he does have a side button, unlike the Odin. So, you have a button on the back, which is also your magnetic um, attachment for your charging. Do a light press on the back, you're gonna get your, I believe it is medium one, 250 lumens. Um, looks a little dimmer for 250 lumens, but that's what it says, 250 lumens, and then you do a hard press, and that's your turbo, and that is 1800 lumens, and then those step down, right? If you click it, if you just push it all the way and click it, that is going to be your, your, your turbo, right? Your high beam. And I have not tested, again, I've only had this thing for a day, so I didn't do the full rundown of the battery and see how long it actually takes, but so far, knock on wood, they have been spot on. They've actually been just a little less than what they, um, or a little more than what they advertise, right? So if they advertise 10 minutes of turbo and then it steps down, I'm generally getting a minute or two more than that. Honestly, no joke, I've, that's what my personal testing has been. Um, just about, so so with it, it's in the ball, it's in a generous, it's generously in the ballpark of whatever they say on the back. That's what it's been so far. Not saying that that's what this one is because I haven't tested it, haven't had it long enough. Um, but that's generally what it is. Um, but that, that that's your main features. You have your low, your high, um, you, you can click it, right? You don't click it. It's a bunch of different things. You gotta get you gotta get familiar with this guy. This is this this is this is sounding fantastic like an overview. Anyway, you can turn it on to low mode, you can click it, push it all the way, get the high mode. You can do that. On the side you have a button that I am still trying to figure this one out. Um, you've got a bunch of different programming modes and stuff that you can do, which can get complicated and that can be an Achilles heel to some flashlights, right? But on the side, if you just click it, you go into a programmable mode, right, of a lower beam. So you, if you don't want to be blasting away trying to read a map, and that's the common thing. I don't know how many people really read maps, but looking for something in your car, looking for something that you dropped, whatever, you don't need to blast away with, you know, whatever it is, 1,800 lumens? What was it? Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of lumens to look for your something that just fell down, and you don't need a whole bunch of light in your face. So you can push the button and hold it for like a second, Right, and then that is, that's like firefly mode. I don't know if they call it firefly mode. Moon mode, one lumen, that's one lumen. So that's very, very dim. But that's fine for looking for something in a very dark situation and you're not trying to blast away everybody's light, everybody's lights, everybody's eyeballs. Right, you can turn that off by hitting the button on the side. Um, also, I believe it is when you have it turned on, you hold the button down and it will cycle through different modes. So whatever mode you leave that on, I, can, I think this is like the second mode or something like that, and you turn the light off, then when you turn the light back on with that button, 
it's gonna go back to that mode, that memory mode, right? So let's say I, I hold it down and I go to that firefly mode, right? So I hold it down for like one second or whatever, goes to the firefly mode. Then I'm gonna hold it down again and it's gonna start cycling through the different things. And if I let it go at the brightest, one, two, three, four, all right, and then I let it go, I let the button go, and I click the button again, next time I go to use the flashlight, not on the back, but on the side, it's gonna be on that brightest setting. Does that make sense? But then it's, okay, so it's on that brightest setting, turn it off, and then if you wanna go straight to firefly mode or moon mode, whatever it is, then you press and hold that side button for like a second and then that mode will come on and then that basically erases your memory settings so if you turn it off so that's off and you turn it back on it's going to go back to that firefly mode or moon mode there's a bunch of different features right um and again that can be the achilles heel because it can be very confusing and who figures out all those settings most people aren't going to figure that out they're just going to play with it for a little bit and probably just stick with the back of it that's kind of what i do i have another flashlight from another company very similar to this and I press that side button all the time on accident and it lights up in my pocket and it gets warm and hot and then I'm like, oh, my butt's on fire. And then I gotta turn it off and I don't know how long it was on and I don't know how much battery I've used. So that'll be something to see over long term how well this guy works. If that button gets pressed a lot, it's gonna drive me nuts. If it doesn't get pressed a lot, which it doesn't seem that it's as easy as the other like to press, you have to be more intentional, that could be a really good thing. So that could be good. So for an EDC light, trying to knock everything across the board, whether it be for personal defense, finding your keys, or going hunting, an EDC light, it, it has a bunch of hats that it can wear. And some of them do very, very well, some of them don't. Having these different modes can help you because it helps you have a better application for different things. But long term, we'll have to figure out how exactly that's gonna work. Um, the stuff that comes with this guy is you get your charging cable, you don't get a plug-in block, so you need some kind of a block, whether you have a cell phone charger or plug it into your computer or whatever, but you get your magnetic charger, that's good. Um, you get a little lanyard. Um, it also comes with this little case. I have not gotten a flashlight from them that had a little case like this yet, so this is a cool little little case if you wanna carry it that way instead of in your pocket or whatever, but you know that gives you options and things. Yep, just like that. I guess you plug it in, yeah. And it turned the light on. That's not good. Maybe I put it in upside down. There you go. I don't know. For whatever that's worth. It's actually a pretty cool little case. Um, it fits my my dead air mask perfectly. So I might use it for that. But that's pretty much it. Then you get your instruction manual um, in your box with all your specs on the back and everything. Um, I would recommend if you get one of these things, look at the manual, read the manual, because there are several different modes and things that you're probably not going to know straight out of the box just playing with it. You'll probably figure it out if you spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you know, fiddling with it. Or you could take five minutes and read the manual and be like, oh, that's what the things are for. So anyway, guys, that is a quick, quick overview of this guy. Uh, I think it does have potential, and I know people are going to be upset of certain things, and that's okay. If people don't like the video, they don't have to watch the video. If you don't like Olight, don't buy Olight, right? If you want relatively inexpensive flashlights um, that aren't going to break the bank, then in my experience, the, the lights themselves have worked well for me. The lights themselves have worked well. I haven't had a problem with batteries, haven't had a problem with things happening, for the lights themselves. Some of the accessories have needed some work and stuff, but the lights themselves have been fine. I have no problem with them, really, I don't. Um, and it is what it is. So again, this stuff was sent to me, so if you gotta take what I say with a grain of salt, take what I say with a grain of salt. And again, if you don't like this stuff, then don't like it, that's fine. Don't watch the video, perfectly fine with me. Don't check out their website if you don't want to. I will leave a, I believe it is an affiliate link down below in my, in my description of the video. So if you want to go check these things out, go check them out by all means. If you wanna use my link, go use my link. If you don't, don't use it. No skin off my nose. I just try to get y'all information out there. And a review will be coming whenever I get some actual time with flashlight. All right, hope y'all enjoyed that. Y'all be good to be safe. Hopefully we'll catch y'all in the next video.